Have you ever heard of a tribe where men wear makeup to attract women? Well, after spending hours of researching and watching documentaries, I can't wait to share the fascinating customs of the Wodabe tribe with you. Picture this, a festival where men dance and wear dazzling makeup to attract a partner. Let's dive in. The Wodaabe people, also known as Bororo, are an ethnic group that exudes a rich history and heritage charm in the heart of West Africa, with migrations stretching from southern Niger through northern Nigeria, northeastern Cameroon, southwestern Chad, western Central African Republic, and northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo. They speak the Fulani language and do not use a written language. The name Wodaabe means people of the taboo in Fulani, referring to their isolation from broader Fulani culture and their contention that they retain older traditions. In terms of religion, they are largely Muslims, though their religion is mixed with pre-Islamic beliefs. They have no formal education, and their traditional nomadic culture remains resilient despite encroachment from the outside world. What makes them so unique is their perspective on beauty. In many ethnic groups, the tradition of grooming and appearance is typically associated with women. However, the Wodabe people have a different custom. They practice a tradition in which men play a significant role in grooming and adorning themselves. The Wodabe place great emphasis on beauty and charm with elaborate dress and makeup for their annual Garawal festival. During this festival, young Wodabe men compete to be selected by young marriageable women as the most beautiful. The young men spend hours painting their faces with yellow or red clay, adding dotted patterns, contouring their eyes with black powder, and coloring their lips black or blue. <laughs> they also wear colorful outfits, exquisite jewelry, and beaded headdresses with feathers. The men then perform dances, chanting mesmerizing songs, moving shoulder to shoulder, stamping their feet, clapping their hands, and ringing bells attached to their ankles. They aim to highlight valued facial features like symmetry, a long sharp nose, white teeth, a round face, and big eyes. The women, dressed more modestly in black, observe the preparations and performances. They look for qualities like elegance, grace, charm, personality, virility, care, generosity, reserve, dignity, respect, patience, endurance, and fortitude in adversity. The women can choose a man by touching him, and the selected man must continue dancing without showing any reaction. They have a polygamous and polygynous social structure, with men sometimes allowing their wives to have children with other men to produce more handsome offspring. As of now, there is no exact data regarding the population of the Wodabe people, but estimates place their population at around 100,000 to 200,000 individuals. Factors such as climate change and urbanization have influenced fluctuations in the Wodabe population. Nevertheless, they have managed to preserve their cultural identity and traditions for centuries. While some Wodabe families have transitioned to modern lifestyles, many of them still lead a nomadic life, herding livestock in the grasslands and deserts around the Sile region. Yeah! 